Why did I chose cardinal uh, colonial freight system? I chose them because simple fact colonial freight system. Everything the Mindy had told me was true. The one of the good things about the lease op, for the most part, if you choose the right company, you have kind of a cushion. And that was my whole thing was to get out here and do a lease. With truck that I'm in right here. It's got to go. It's got to go. Got to go. When I first came over to Colonial Freight Systems. Uh... All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. Let me show you how I do it. Welcome to MTC 21 on the Lockout Man Podcast Show, where we make the calls for you. Yes, you. Yes. You right there, the guy that's looking for a trucking job out there. You, that's right. I am your host, Lockout Men. And today's call, we're going to look at Canolio Freight Systems. Yes, that is them in the background. Canolio Freight Systems. They are a lease company. Now, they do have company drivers. But when I talk to the young lady, they only have a few company drivers so basically they're just leasing their trucks now let me explain something to you about leasing all right and this is what i have come to learn about leasing from everybody that i have talked to just to be simple leasing is a runner's job period if you want to get out here and get at the maximize the money that you want to make go leasing period go leasing uh, they offer they offer a lease purchase program, which is that you do a lease option for three years. And then after the three years, you're able to buy the truck out. Now, mind you, you would not the money that you put into the truck during the lease period will not go to the value of the truck at the end of the period. So say, for example, that the truck is valued at 30 K or 20 K. That's an additional 30k or 20k that you have to pay their lease is about eight hundred dollars to a thousand dollars a week depending on the year of the truck they start at 2018s all the way up to newer trucks probably 2020 or better let's head over to the bit board and check out canolio freight systems now you can check them out at c f s i dot com they're located out there hold on right quick let's see hold on let me see they're located out of knottsville tennessee yes knottsville tennessee so if you want to go down if you want once you come on to get down there they will get you you know get you down there by way of uh greyhound not messing with greyhound but they will get you down there by way of they will get you down there by rental car or they'll get you down there by flight, but they'll reimburse you by way of a Greyhound ticket. So you got to figure out how much that Greyhound ticket, probably like $50, $75. That's all they're going to give you. That's all they're going to give you. They put you up in a hotel. They'll give you breakfast and lunch. But of course, COVID season is in effect. So breakfast is out of the case. So make sure you find out how much they're going to take care of you on the breakfast side. Because if it's out of the out of the hotel, hotels is not giving Cornelio breakfasts no more. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. On the bit board, they have been in business for 72 years. Uh, let's see. You know, you can find out opportunities about, uh, about what they got. Solo fleet, one operator, endless possibilities, satellite communications, approximately 300 drivers with one mission all newer equipment both 53 foot dry and refrigerated trailers hazmat certification does not be i mean it's not required where do solo drivers drive they drive to southeast midwest southwest great plains and northeast right now she said 67 percent of the uh low is for southeast or yeah southeast so find out a little bit more about that. They also got Team Fleet. Same thing. 
Student drivers, they say, let us contribute to your uh, success. We accept top graduating students from the approved schools. Our training pay starts at $525 a week. Our training program is 10 to 12 weeks. Trainee, I mean, trainers evaluate the improvements weekly. We provide drive-in and refrigerated training and hands-on training for business and success. And down here, you can lease Wolf Canolio. Let's get some information. I guess you can't get no information. Uh, let's go to About Us. Canolio Freight has been in business since 1943 as a small interstate Alabama trucking operation. What's that? Small Alabama trucking operation to National Multi Service Transportation Company of today. Their mission is to maintain a working partnership between owner operators and our employees to provide safe, courteous, uh, quantity service to our customers and their associates. All right, all right. That's a uh, Canolia Freight Service off their website. But of course, we need to know what the drivers have to say about Canolia Freight Services. And that is brought to you by Indeed, of course. But you know, you're not going to get everything unless you make a make a reply. So you get a reply, and then you get a reply. But so far, truck drivers, a uh, number three, mm. to each is on. Uh, started out fairly well, then began to unfold. They don't have the paying freight as they claim to maintain profit while leasing the truck, as as far as making payments without profit. Mm, mm, mm. Five, family friendly, uh, family oriented, cares about home time for drivers, really nice people to work, I mean, to work with. Okay. Five. All right. We got another five. That's what's up. Canolia Freight System was a good job to work at. I learned to pick up loads and take them to play. I mean, take them to the next place. Management is very good. If I have any problems, I have to report it to the manager. That's what's up. Not good. Number four. Got tired of sleeping in a tin can. Ooh. Family environment, they said as a five. So, yeah. Yeah. That's what some of the drivers had to say about Canolio Freight. Woo. All right. Uh, do they got a, do they got a uh, Facebook page? Yes, they do. Uh, they're located out of Knoxville, Tennessee, and owner operators and lease purchase drivers needed. Pay and uh, I mean pay and optional benefits, uh, refrigerated refrigerated percentage pay. Drive van is eighty two cent per mile plus mileage and bonus programs. Dental, vision, life, and short term disability insurance is included. She said they can get you that. Uh, weekly settlements, direct deposit, lease purchase detail, easy leasing programs, no down payment, no credit checks, Volvo 880s, or I'm sorry, 780s, 2016 or newer. She says 2018 uh, and all that good stuff. So, okay. Pinolio Freight Systems. We found out what they we found out what their website is about, their Facebook, and what the drivers had to say. Let's talk to the recruiter and see what she has to say about Canolia Freight Systems in this call. Recruiting, this is Autumn. How can I help you? Autumn, how's it going? Good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. My name is uh, Lashawn, and uh, I I came across. Well, I'm in the Facebook group, right? And, you know, we talk trucks in there all the time. But uh, I came across I came across you guys uh, via Facebook and I was just kind of wondering if I could have a few minutes of your time to find out a little bit more information about uh, Canolio Freight Systems. That's I'm pronouncing it right. Right. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So I, I'm a five year driver. Um well, six years now because, you know, it's it's the new year. Um, 
<laughs> I, I just want to see what you guys have to ha, has to offer for uh for for uh drivers out here. Yes, sir. Okay. Um quick question. Where are you located out of? I'm out of Cleveland, Ohio. Out of Ohio, okay. And then um just real fast, our base requirements. Um they're they are that you're 23 years of age. Check. Um, you have to have at least one year of over the road um, experience within the last three years. So that's Check. good. And then no, um, no felony, DUI, reckless driving, or drug charges. Check, check, and check. So let me uh, oh. let let me go back up to the part where he says no felonies. So you uh, is that like on a case by case, or you guys just don't take? Uh, guys with felonies at all it is a it's a zero tolerance policy with with felonies oh okay okay so somebody is there is is there like a particular type of felony that you guys uh that you guys uh might not be looking for like you know like uh felony like dealing with a car or anything like that but no felonies period say like they have like a drug charge or something like that mm -hmm. that's that's no tolerance too um to my knowledge it is no tolerance on on all felonies which i don't you know i don't deal with that that side of um hiring that would be personnel's department so if you had you know like a, a felony that was you know a bunch of years old and um you wanted to speak with someone about that i could get you to miss debbie and that would be the person to you know ask about that okay okay so you say ask miss i'm taking notes so miss debbie okay. okay okay and and after i tell you a little bit about the lease program if you want if you want i can transfer you over there and you can ask her oh, okay well um all right so this is so this company uh, is 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 you guys just strictly lease or you guys uh you guys company as well? We have I think maybe four company drivers. So we are we're a lease purchase company and then um also if you have your own truck we do owner operators as well. But our company drivers they're so little and it's just because it's um just a couple of accounts that we have that run regionally. Mm -hmm. So we're just hiring lease lease uh, drivers, yes. Okay, cool, cool. Well, yeah, I'm I'm interested. You know, I, yeah, I can uh, I can sit sit back and relax and uh, listen to what you guys have to offer for a uh, lease. All right, so this uh, so is this like a like like a lease purchase or 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 just leasing the truck to use? It it would be a lease purchase. Um, so. What we do when it comes to the lease program, it is a it's a no money down, no credit check, walk away lease. Mm -hmm. So if at any time, you know, it's not working out for you, you just bring the truck back to the terminal and you're good to go. Otherwise the lease term is forty two months. So at the end of the lease you have two options. You can go into another lease and get a brand new truck, or you can buy out your truck um, at fair market value. So just as if you were leasing a car, you go and get your your truck appraised, and you would purchase the truck at whatever that appraisal value is left at. Oh, okay. Now let me ask you. Now let me ask you this cr uh, crazy question because you know I I am I am interested in you know more aspects of trucking, even though I will be coming from a company side. Um, now, as far as you say, as far as buying out the lease at the end of the term. Does all the money that I put into it goes into that as well? So um, all, all of the payments that you make up until the end of the, the lease, it's not like you're paying on the truck. So you're paying down the value as if you were to, you know, like buy a car and make payments on it. Exactly. Um, it's so you're paying these payments to be able to use the truck. And then when you get it appraised, like um, you go to Volvo or a bank or, or wherever you choose to get it appraised at, um, they would quote you, okay, we know we're taking an account that you've paid this much on it. And we're taking an account that the truck is now um, three and a half years old because that's 42 months. So the value that's left on that truck is, let's say, $25,000, $30,000. So we want we want thirty thousand dollars for this truck, oh. and that's how that would work. Okay. Now let me ask. Now let me ask you this. Now, af, now at the end of the lease, uh, you guys want thirty. Let's say you guys want thirty thousand for the truck. Uh, 
and let's say I want to give you thirty thousand for the truck. So is that is that like a new thing that I go in with you guys to do a new uh, new round of payments on that truck, or do I got to get my own outside uh, entity to pay for the truck? So you would be responsible for your own financing um, because through Colonial, you're just a you're a contracted driver. So you're treated as as an owner operator who who's running there kind of it's kind of like your own your own business you're just hauling loads loads through us so you'd be responsible for your own financing and you could set that up you know through the bank that you could have appraised that excuse me or through volvo um it just depends on wherever you want to get financing through okay okay now that's that's on that's on the that's on the line of me uh buying the truck at the end of the lease but now uh, now that I'm leasing through you guys for three years, uh, what what are the responsibilities lies upon me as far as uh, as far as the truck goes? Um, are you talking like like maintenance and issues like that? Yes, ma'am. Like main, yeah, yeah, maintenance. Uh, of course, I got to do my own taxes. Uh, you guys don't offer no type of no type of benefits for a lease driver i'm assuming uh and 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 stuff like that yes yes so we we do have benefits for for a lease driver as far as um we offer dental dental vision and life insurance okay. um maintenance wise what we do is we take well let, let me just start here so mm -hmm. what we do is we take everything that you need to be an owner operator and we put that into a package. So that includes um, all of the permits, all of the insurances you need, collision insurance, liability insurance, federal highway use tax, the Qualcomm satellite, and then even a hundred dollars of this package goes into an interest bearing escrow account. Um, so all of that together runs anywhere between eight hundred to a thousand dollars a week, just depending on the year of the tractor that you choose when you come in. Okay. Um, tax wise, like I said, you're a contractor, so we give you a 1099 form and then we recommend a tax service to you. Um, I think it's ABCS, um, taxes that, uh, probably about 99% of our drivers use just to make sure that your, you know, your taxes are done correctly since we won't do them for you since you're a contracted employee. Um, but we, we put all of the the tractor payment and all of that stuff into a package for you that way it's all in one place and more manageable to handle one um, one lump sum what 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 is the so what 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 are the equipment that you guys offer and what are the price or what what is what is the deductions out of my pay every week for the uh, tractor so the equipment that we have are 2018 or newer volvo 860s um, and it differs from week to week because we work in conjunction with the Volvo dealer here in Knoxville. So sometimes we have the 2021 or the 2020 models, and that's typically what we're getting in right about now. Um, and, you know, they're equipped with a refrigerator and freezer, bunk bed with a retractable ladder. The bottom bunk converts to a camper table, and all of our trucks are governed at 72 miles an hour. Okay, okay. Now with now now with that said, I, I like 72 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um with with that said uh as far as as far as the what what i know you said they started uh 20 what would you say 2018 so you wouldn't know yep. what tractor i would be getting into no sir because because you pick um just pick from what we have available out on the lot when you come for orientation um okay. i do know that the oldest will go is 2018 um, and we're probably going to start phasing those out pretty soon because it's 2021 now. Okay. So probably about halfway through the year, the oldest that'll be available would be a 2019. So we want to keep the tractors, you know, current with the the best, the newest models. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, with that said, how much is how much is the deductions out of my out of my salary a week? The deductions would stay in between that 800 to a thousand dollars a week mark. Um, because we bundle all of the insurances and the tags and permits that you need to run legal um, together. So the truck payment would probably be around $600, um, 600 to 700 um, just depending on the year. Because, you know, if you get a 2018, it's going to be a little less. And if you get a 2021, it's going to be a little bit more. 
um, and insurances and stuff like that. I have a I have a detailed breakdown of that that I can send over to your email. What you'd be paying for insurance wise, if you'd like, I can go ahead and send that over. All right, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. All right, so um, with 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 all that said, um, let's say I let's say I sign up. I say, hey, yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and make this happen. Uh, I get approved to come on during orientation. Uh, how would I? How would you guys get me up there? Or being that it's ten ninety nine, I guess I have to find my own way out there. Uh, no, sir. We'll we'll we provide transportation to Knoxville for for orientation. Um, so I can get you a Greyhound bus, or because I know this COVID stuff, um, people aren't really too keen on public transport right now. Exactly. But if you wanted to rent a car or drive a personal vehicle or even fly, we'll reimburse you up to the price of a Greyhound ticket for whatever method of travel you choose. Okay. Um, okay. Orientation is four days, uh, mm-hmm. Monday through Thursday, and you're dispatched out on your first load that Thursday. So um, we we cover all of your expenses while you're up here, pay for your hotel, uh, breakfast and lunch, and the only expense you're on the hook for is dinner. Okay. Okay. No problem. Dinner. Now, as far as breakfast goes, you know, this is COVID season, you know, no hotels ain't and giving that courtesy breakfast no more. So what, what type of breakfast are we talking about here? Well, it was the <laughs> hotel breakfast. So I'm not taking that into account. I need uh, to change my spiel a little bit, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. All right. Um, all right. So I'm, I'm up in orientation four days. Uh, am I paid for the time that I'm, that I'm there in orientation or no? No, sir. It's not a paid orientation because we cover the expenses of everything. So okay, okay. Uh, now, of course, I would get the. You know, this would be my truck. Uh, I get to operate it the way the way I want to operate it. So, as far as operations go, would I be able to choose my loads off of a load board, or would I be dispatched, or would I be able to choose? Uh, how how would I how would I go by operating the truck myself? So it is non-force dispatch, um, but you wouldn't have direct access to a load board. So the way it happens is you'll you'll come and meet your meet your coordinator here, and tell them you know what lanes you're most comfortable running and, and stuff like that. And they'll contact you and say, hey, you know I got a load picking up here, delivering here, and tell you the rates. And you tell them, yeah, that works for me. Or no, let's try and find me something different. Um, and after a while, after you've been running for a few weeks and you've, you've both gotten used to like the preferences of where you want to run, maybe you found a good lane that you'd like to keep doing, they try and keep you on a pre-plan to keep you moving. So, you know, that way you're like, hey, next week I've got three loads lined up for you. Here's what they are. And and um, they work with you really closely on that. Okay, so awesome. The, um, as, for, as far as the running areas and pay, because um, that's uh, something we hadn't discussed yet and it's um, That's, that, that, was gonna my, that was going to be my that was going to be my next question. Yes. <laughs> yes, the southeast region um, is refrigerated. We have two two divisions: a, a drive-in division and a refrigerated. The refrigerated is southeast. It runs from the Carolinas down to Florida, out to Texas, and back over to the Carolinas and everything in between. We do have 48 state authority, uh, but like I said, it's non-force dispatch. So you know you don't have to go anywhere you don't want to go. Um, the refrigerated division pays 67% of the load. You'll average between 2,500 to 3,000 miles a week, and your average take home is anywhere between 1,000 to $2,500 a week with the potential for more. It just all depends on how you run and how you drive within DOT regulations. So those figures are based off of staying out about seven to 10 days out on the road at a time. All right. So that's, you know, key word here is a thousand to twenty five hundred dollars and depending on uh, depending on how I run. So that's like lightweight on the growth. So we're looking at about uh, about a thousand dollars because let's say that you guys put me in a newer truck. So we're looking at about a thousand dollars. So we figuring about a thousand dollars net pay for me to take home give or take that that a thousand dollars is after your lease payment so that would be coming home with you oh, okay so you already figured oh, okay okay so you already figured in the lease payment with with the thousand to uh twenty five hundred dollars yes sir okay and you say this is percentage so this is what 68 percent of the load 
67%, yes, sir. I'm sorry, 60, 67% of the load. Now you say that's now you say that's reefer uh traveling those particular that particular lane. Is it is it different in drive in? Yes. Um the drive in division we have a lot of teams run, but the drive in division runs um coast to coast, California back over to the east coast and back. It pays eighty two cents a mile. Um, your average between 3,000 to 4,200 miles a week, and your average take home after your lease payment comes out is about $1,000 a week. Um, and again, that's just dependent on you, and that's based off of staying out seven to 10 days at a time. Okay, okay. So you say 80 now. Now, the Southeast is percentage pay. Is there a particular reason why the Southeast is percentage pay and running coast to coast is cent per mile? I I don't exactly know. My best guess would be um, that you get more miles going out to California and back, of and course. especially since we have a lot of teams, a lot of teams run that division since they can get out there and back at their amount of hours. Um, it just makes more sense to pay per, per mile there, but I don't exactly know. Now, as far as as far as team drive, do you, do you have to be a team driver to 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 run that coast to coast and get that eighty two cent? Uh, a mile? No, sir. You can run solo and get the 82 cents a mile. That, that's de- totally possible. We have some drivers that run solo and do the coast-to-coast loads. Okay, okay, okay. And that's that's 82 cents a mile in the door, right? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what about uh, what about sign-on bonuses and stuff like that? Do you Do you guys offer that? No, we don't have any sign-on bonus. Okay, okay. Now, as far as the dispatchers themselves, I of course I will meet my dispatcher, get a rapport with them, and and try to work out from there. But what what's the what's the driver to dispatch dispatcher ratio? I mean, say like for example, I get in a situation and I need to get at them, and I what I gotta wait for them, you know. So what, what's the ratio? Um, there's one dispatcher maybe has 10 to 15 drivers. So you, you rarely ever have an issue where you can't get a hold of your dispatcher. Um, okay. and there's 24 seven, someone here to talk to. Okay. Um, yeah, like 24 seven. So we have a night, dis- a night crew that is in, um, our shop department is always here 24 seven. So if you have a breakdown on the side of the road, anything like that, you call the shop. So there, there will always be someone here for you to talk to. Um, and then eight to five is our normal business hours. And that's when, you know, every full staff is here. All right. Awesome. What about other pay that's, uh, that's paid out to the driver, like, uh, breakdown pay, detention pay, layover. So you'd get detention pay. Um, it, and that d- differs on, you know, shipper to shipper, how much it would be and how long you stay there. Of course. Um, you also get a hundred percent of the fuel surcharge. We have a cost plus program that saves you about $400 a month, and we have discounts with all of the major fuel islands um, anywhere that accepts a ComData card because you will be issued a ComData card. Um, also, lumpers, you get 100% of the lumpers back. So make sure you save your receipts. So I like to tell people, get you a folder or something, send your paperwork back, save your receipts because that's um, – an extra source of revenue that some people miss out on because they're not sending back their paperwork. Okay. 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 Uh, now as far as team drivers, uh, lease, lease operator team drivers, that 82 cent is split between them, right? I believe it's, it's person. It, no, it's, it's person to person. Oh, oh, okay. Um, so okay. Okay. So I don't have to worry about splitting my money. I don't have to worry about splitting my money with anybody. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. Now we don't we don't pair people with teams. So if you wanted to come on and be a team driver, you would have to supply your own co driver. Okay. Now as far as uh as far as home time being the least driver, I, I can pretty much pick my pick and choose when I come home and when I come back on the road. Uh what about uh, what a, I'm, I'm also responsible for the truck, so I can take the truck home as well, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. What about a driver cam inside the truck? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a lease op. You know, the truck is basically mine. So do I have to have a, a driver cam inside the truck? 
No, sir, you don't. And we don't have cameras in there um, to begin with. I know some drivers, like, they like to have an outward-facing camera just for insurance purposes, you know, if you get in a wreck or something. Mm -hmm. But there are no cameras in the truck. All right, cool, awesome. No force dispatch. Uh, pretty, you know, like we have a good rapport with the uh, with with the uh, fleet manager. Uh, 80, 82 cent a mile coast to coast for drive in. Sixty seven percent for uh, for regional. Um, for drive in, what, what are we hauling drive in? Um. Our main loads to drive in are pharmaceutical, and then we do like some limestone. Um, we have a lot of clothing accounts that go out to um, California, like Ross, Polo, Ralph Lauren, stuff like that. Okay, okay. As far as uh, as as far now, being that this is uh, lease, you know, you guys going to lease. Uh, what will be what will be the turnover rate? what you guys company because of course you know i do my i'm i'm doing my homework and you know i i saw a couple of <laughs> not so good um <laughs> reviews on you guys so i was just kind of wondering yeah. to see if i can get an idea on what what's what will be your company turnover rate uh to my knowledge our, our turnover rate isn't too bad um it's been a little up recently just people wanting to take off because because of covid um you get sick and you don't want to have to keep paying on the truck so they come off for about two months and then come back on um and you know, i hadn't seen any bad reviews just because i'm not on there <laughs> but you know um it is this is a self-made position if you want to make money in trucking you've got to keep your truck moving exactly. and some people don't understand that exactly but, um, Especially being a self-made, so especially being a lease mm -hmm. driver, <laughs> you know you can't, you know you gotta pretty much uh, keep it moving in order, in order to keep that money coming in. Uh, I do appreciate that you, uh, you know, th I mean that's about it, uh, about all I have to say, uh, ask about uh, about the company. So I do appreciate you uh, taking the time uh, to give me a little bit yeah. more information. Uh, but at this time, as you said, you're you guys are not doing no company. Uh, no company driver's position, at least not yet anyway. No, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Not now, not right now. I, as far as as far as the uh, driver taking the time off that you just mentioned, uh, are we still responsible for the payments of the truck even if we take some time off? Uh, yes, sir. Unless you come and turn the truck back in, um, you'd still be responsible for for your truck payment. So if you wanted to stay home for a week, um, you could totally do that, but you'd still have to be responsible for making that truck payment. And um, that's I'd say that's where a lot of a lot of people falter as they want to take take two weeks of vacation off, but they've not planned ahead for that and set the money back to make the truck payments. And then you know that's how people get themselves in a hole. But if you wanted to be home for four days, just make sure that you're, you know, putting a little bit of money, extra money back because that truck payment doesn't doesn't halt. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. I do appreciate it. Once again, this is all the information that uh, that I need. And I will definitely take this information back with me to my to my Facebook group and uh, share it with the group. So I really appreciate the time. Nolio Freight Systems, everybody. Well, what you guys think? What you guys think? I was able to take a, a, a little bit of notes on this situation. Uh, it's, they, they hiring for a lease, period. Well, at this point, they're, they're not looking for company drivers, even though they do have company drivers, but they're pretty much good on the company drivers. But they only looking for lease drivers. They have two divisions. They have a drive van coast to coast, a reefer regional all right so the south uh southeast regional you'll go from texas the carolinas over to florida and then back you know that's yada 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 um 67 percent of the load so anywhere between a thousand and twenty five hundred dollars that's key word here after the truck payment uh truck payment weekly 
is about eight hundred to a thousand dollars, depending on which model that you get. So if you get an older model, it'll be cheaper. If you get a newer model, it'll be a little bit more. Look, leasing as I am coming to grips with with leasing, leasing is just for runners. All right. It's for runners. You you got to be a runner. You got to you got to be a runner. You got to be the type of driver that want to come out here for two, three, four, five months at a time, stack your money. And then later on, if you want to take a vacation or if you want to take some time off, then you stack your money up and put some money on to the side. Because as she said, drivers that get into this leasing game messes up as soon as they don't put the plan in motion so if you know that you're going to do about uh, a week off or two weeks off or something like that you know for a fact that you got to put a couple of weeks of money away for the truck and that's where you get into problems you know you don't do that you see that good twenty five hundred dollars and you be like yo all that's going in my pocket no sir you got to take in account that you do get sick what happens if you get sick you're going to take some time off what happens if you need to go back home you're going to take some time off you got to know and have a plan when you decide to do leasing especially with this company now as she said before it's basically renting the truck until the lease is up it's three it's a three-year lease then you go and you say hey i'll start another lease okay and then or you could take it to volvo or take it to a bank and they'll appraise it they'll be like okay well this uh this it's a 2018 you're already three years into it so 18 19 20 21 it's a 2021 and the value of this truck is 20 grand that's what they're gonna want they're gonna want an additional 20 grand for the truck now mind you you would think that the money that you put into the truck already no it doesn't work that way so you will have to get a all new lease or a all new credit or all new whatever that you're going to need to pay for the truck. Now with their lease uh with their lease uh program it's no money down, it's a walk away lease and it's 42 months, 3 years. Um again, like I said, uh coast to coast is 82 cent a mile for each person, even if you run teams, and it's 67% of the load if you run uh, just a regional. Of course, there's no load board that you can look at to pick your own loads. They'll match you up with a fleet manager that will pick the loads for you. Hopefully you guys get a rapport with them and they'll keep you moving. Again, I, I'm just gonna say just for 2020, out of all the time that I got the information for leasing, you got to be a runner, period, period. Leasing is just for guys that want to get in, get their money, and get out. That's what leasing is. Lease, at least, I may be wrong. If I'm wrong, leave it in the comments below. Talk to me. Because there's different types of lease, different companies that runs their lease programs different. But from who I call so far, yeah, you got to be you, you got to be a runner. Get in, get your money and get out, period. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. That's what's up. So if you guys are interested, OK, I'm just saying, if you guys are interested in Canolio Freight Systems, you can give them a call. Uh, I think I had the phone number up here. You can, whoa, wait, hold on. You can give them a call at 865-966-9711. Uh, again, we can, we could probably jump back to, uh, jump back to their Facebook page and you guys could see 
what their Facebook page is all about because they got a little bit more information on that. Canolio Freight Systems, everybody. What do you guys think of the call? If you guys think that this is something for you, definitely give them a call and get at them. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, that's going to do it for this uh, edition of the MTC 21 on the Lockout Man podcast show. Make sure you get your suggestions in in the comments below. Uh, for next week's call, who do you want me to call next week? Let me know in the in the comments below who you want to be called next week. If you want to, you know, support the call and get that shout out at the end of the at the end of the call, definitely let me know. To leave it in the uh, cash app. Leave your name, your uh, company that you want call, and whatever you want to hook me up for coffee, man. I mean, these calls are not being sponsored, and I'm doing it for you guys so I can, so you guys can get the information. All right? All right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right. That's going to do it for you. I mean, that's going to do it for me. I appreciate, the, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell, and forget all of that. Just like the cause so that YouTube can spread the love. You know what I'm saying? Spread the love of the MTC for 2021. You guys have a blessed new year. Have a awesome new year. And until next week, let's find out who I'm going to call next week. You guys got to come back and find out who I call next week. Maybe it's a call that you want. I don't know. Let's find out together. In the nets, make the call. Peace. So you call the phone number that they give you in the voicemail. Well, I am such and such. I am such and such, and I can't uh, get to the phone right now. And, you know, call this number for... Uh, for a recruiter, yada, yada, yada. I call that number and I still get no answer. <laughs>